In tonight's Impact Earth Report, looking for solutions to climate change on America's farmland. Meteorologist Ashley DiMartino introduces us to an ASU professor who says cows may be the solution, despite being called the number one source of greenhouse gases worldwide. Helping to lead a big old research project. We're figuring out if the way these cattle are being grazed could actually help solve climate change. Impacting Earth one cow in one pasture at a time. It's just nature. No one's made anything new here. It's not a new technology. It's just a method of, oh, the bison are great land managers. Let's copy them. Peter Beck and his team of scientists are reintroducing that method to farmers across the U.S. When I was looking for solutions to climate change, the soils kept coming up. Soils being both a problem and a solution, big focused on who was treating the soil. It was the grazers, the ranchers, who were actually doing things that looked like a lot faster just with a lot more impact. The first project produced the film called Soil Carbon Cowboys, which led to a $10 million grant to create his latest work, Roots So Deep. We're studying a type of grazing called adaptive multi-paddock grazing. This is where cattle hit a small area of the pasture, eat half of the plants, and then stomp down the rest to cover the soil and move on. And then all those plants just want to grow quickly, sucking down carbon, feeding the microbes in the soil. They're sucking down enormous amounts of carbon, those plants. And that's pulling carbon out of the atmosphere, which is one of the main reasons climate change is happening. His research is showing that because so much carbon is being dragged down, it's counteracting the methane and nitrous oxide gases on the farm, in turn shrinking greenhouse gases and slowing the rate of climate change by creating a cooling effect. And then that land rests, and it's that rest period that is where everything regrows, and as everything regrows, it's drawn down so much carbon, it's cooling that farm. And if enough farmers do it, it could cool the planet. But that's if enough farmers do it. One farmer's not gonna change the planet. And not nearly enough farmers are doing this kind of method because not nearly enough farmers know it exists. That is why Bick has made this movie and is taking it on the road to one small town after another to try to create a movement of change one farm at a time. It's one method that creates a lot of solutions. Ashley DiMartino, ABC 15, Arizona.